This is Tyrell Biggs, Teofio Stevenson. We've been waiting for this one from Reno, Nevada. Boys of Batsing, Of course, a good look at Teofio Stevens. He's still a happy look on his face as Tyrell Biggs was just introduced. And Al, how long can this man continue to go? Of course, when you're fighting just three rounds, you can continue in this game for a number of years. Indeed, and he's 33 years old. He gets a little boo from the crowd, but they respect his ability. But you're right, he's fighting three rounds and uh, fighting in specific tournaments from time to time. So we'll see. He still has power in that right hand, and that's what Tyrell Biggs has to worry about. Still listed as a student. 33 years of age. <laughs> well, resides in Las Tunas in Cuba, and uh, as I mentioned, he's won three consecutive Olympic gold medals and is the only man besides the legendary Laszlo Pop of Hungary to do that. And the key for Biggs, I think, is to stay away from the Stevenson right hand and stay busy. He can do that. We've seen fighters uh, be effective against Stevenson in that uh, way. Stevenson is listed at 220 pounds. Now, to fight around the 200 25 range and i would say in the last four or five years he has really put on a considerable amount of weight it's a natural process for all heavyweights they all tend to get uh, heavier as they hit their 30s you know with that headgear on for a fleeting moment he reminds you a little bit of muhammad ali in the face he does indeed and you know ali was a good example of the fact that fighters when they get older can still deal with the big power punches they can't deal with the speed it's the speed that bothers them and that's where Biggs has a, a chance at least against Stevenson. The fighters that have hurt Stevenson or given him trouble in the past mostly have been quick fighters, like Michael Zoltz uh, gave him a run for his money in the Pan American game some years ago because of his speed. Biggs is an outstanding athlete. It's had a Hampton Institute, a good combination right there. Biggs will show you a lot of movement. He was a basketball player in college. And this is the fight Tyrell Biggs needs to fight against Stevenson. Peck away, get in and out, not worry about knocking him out right away or maybe even at all. And keep Stevenson on the defense. The other super heavyweight for the U.S., Craig Payne from Livonia, Michigan. And indeed, Payne has a win over Stevenson. Beat him in the North American Championships last year. So that's the man that Biggs will be fighting against uh, probably for uh, Olympic berth. Stevenson also has some competition in Cuba. There's a young man by the name of Jorge Gonzalez coming up, who is six feet, six inches tall and 217 pounds. So they like their heavyweights tall and rangy down in Cuba. Biggs is doing a good job with the jab, keeping it in the face of Stevenson. And Teofilo yet to get off. Of course, we've seen this before from him. He waits, he bides his time, always feeling that the right hand will get the job done for him. Crowd in Reno, Nevada chanting USA as the Cubans with a 7-4 advantage in this dual competition. And once again, the lighter weights got the U.S. off to a pretty good start, but the heavier weight divisions is where they fall behind. You know, you can sense as you watch this fight, people just sitting waiting for that right hand of Stevenson to be dropped on uh, Biggs. Left hand by Biggs lands as we come down to the end of the first round between Tyrell Biggs and Teofio Stevenson. Monday, ESPN Motors into Moscow are ready to rumble in the ring. Find out who takes it on the chin when these arch rivals clash. Nemesis in search of a knockout when the USA meets Russia. Monday. Thursday, we'll show you the NFL's best ever teams. The leaders of the league from now and then are coming to play on ESPN. Thursday. Second round action. Tyrell Biggs, Philadelphia, PA, and... Teofio Stevenson and now in that first round how did you see it I think Biggs was doing most of the work uh, landing most of the punches I think you'd have to give him the round he's able to stay away from Stevenson and still score effectively what do you have to do to beat Teofio Stevenson there are certain ways obviously to do it even though his record against Americans is incredible he's beaten all of them but one of them but I think that the way to beat him is to do what Biggs did in that first round Use a lot of movement, stay busy, stay away from that right hand, and throw combinations. Stevenson, when he's hit with combinations, tends to get flustered and uh, get into a defensive shell, and so he can't attack you. That time, Tyrell Biggs landed a good left jab, but he didn't follow it up. 
So we'll see in the second round if Biggs can put some combinations together. Good upper, upper catch by Teofield Stevenson. Biggs in the inside with Stevenson. And it's interesting here, you think that's not where you want to be with him. Uh, if you can fight well on the inside, it's not, it's a safe place because you can't hit you with that long right hand. There's a right to the body. Good body shot, and that, of course, is what gave Biggs uh, such a problem the last time they fought. Biggs is able to get the left jab, and he's not been throwing it that much. It's there for him hey. if he goes after it. Well, he used it in that first round pretty effectively, but uh, he has not used this much in this round. Good time. right hand by Biggs. Now he might have Stevenson hurt. He's got him against the ropes. He stunned him with that right hand, and Stevenson in an unfamiliar pose against those ropes, getting uh, hit with punches. Boy, Biggs still leveling that left. Stevenson getting in some punches, though, as he moved right back at him. Sometimes when you're in trouble, Al, that might be the best defense is moving right into a man, moving him back. And another good combination by Tyrell Biggs as he's putting some punches together in the second round. He has to be very careful not to get careless with Stevenson. Even though he's hurt him, Stevenson remains dangerous, and Tyrell cannot get wild. He has to stay within what he's doing. You know, the whole thing about Stevenson, though, it just seems like at any moment he's going to unleash that right hand. You feel uh, that you're waiting for that punch to come, and certainly Biggs is waiting for it. Less than 30 seconds to go. Good right hand by Tyrell Biggs. Misses with a wild left. Stevenson just sticks the left out. He really doesn't put too much behind it. And Biggs came up with a left hand. It might have caught the chin of Stevenson because his legs wobbled just a bit. And that would have to be a good second round for Tyrell Biggs. Extremely good. I think he's put two good rounds together. Uh, round one, uh, he, he danced, boxed. And in round two, a lot of power. Tyrell Biggs, part of the Operation Gold. Working out of... Colorado Springs, but he's been coached by George Benton, who is a very, who is a very fine trainer. Emmanuel Stewart over there on the left giving him uh, some advice, and boy, there's uh, a lot of water being thrown around in the corner of T.F.L. Stevenson. You sense some urgency there. As I mentioned earlier, Stevenson not accustomed to doing anything but winning against the Americans. You mentioned Craig Payne. Got him on points recently. But throughout his career, he has been dominant. American He's beaten heavyweight. fighters like Michael Dokes, John Tate, Dwayne Bobbick, Jimmy Clark, a fine fighter from the Florida area, although Clark gave him trouble. So he's beaten now all the amateurs just about that we've thrown his way from the United States. And Tyro Biggs, if he can have himself a good third round, might be the exception. And it would certainly do a lot for Tyrell Biggs' hopes of being the super heavyweight in the 1984 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles. Big starts out with two good jabs, uh, a punch that, as you said, he, he didn't use as much in the second round. What do you think big strategy ought to be in this round, just to kind of stick and use that jab and try not to get hit? Well, I would think that that, that would be a good strategy, but he's got to use the right also. He's got to keep punching in combination. Well, the crowd here in Reno really picking up the USA chant. Now, look at Big's move, very stylish as he backpedals. It doesn't get you any points and it doesn't really impress anybody unless maybe you're trying to set something in the opponent's mind that your legs are fresh and you can still get up on your toes. In that second round, Biggs showed a few signs of fatigue and uh, we'll have to look for that here in round three. Sometimes it's been a problem for him. Now, Stevenson has not hit him to the body much, so that's a good sign too and Big, it shouldn't wear Biggs out. Biggs very stationary right now and Stevenson moves in and was a couple little right left jabs and there see he looked for the right and Biggs was able to slip it. Left jab got in by Biggs. Stevenson unable, Another left jab. Stevenson unable to unload that right. That's what he wants to do. And he's still waiting. He may wait too long in this fight. Biggs has Stevenson backed up now and Stevenson able to get the left hand in. Really not a lot of force behind this. Stevenson just puts the left out there and lets you know it's there. Kind of like the pitcher who uses the curveball once in a while to set up the fastball. Good the fastball, yeah. 
good left hook Excuse and a good right. right. Yeah, it was, I mean, Diggs came through with some big shots, and Stevenson, it kind of woke him up a little bit. Stevenson now using the uppercuts. Both of these fighters puffing and huffing here in the third and final round, and Biggs once again lands that left as he's continued to use the left jab here in the third round of great success. He's using the jab well, but he's dropping the left hand after he throws it. That could be dangerous. Stevenson is looking to unload the right over that jab. Biggs looks very tired now as he's kind of leaning in and pushing Stevenson back against the ropes. And now Biggs goes down. And that right looked extremely low. You can see where Biggs is holding himself. Uppercut by Stevenson, that looked very low. They're counting it a knockdown. And Biggs telling the referee, uh-uh, that was low. Blood coming out of the nose of Tyrell Biggs. Now Stevenson really moves in and starts wailing away. Well, that low blow, an apparent low blow, has turned things around for TPO Stevenson, but Biggs lands a couple of jabs in round three, and this crowd is into this fight, that's for sure. Crowd on their feet now in Reno, Nevada. Biggs continues to throw, but Stevenson has landed in the last minute and a half of this third and final round the more effective punches. Now, the question is, how much will that knockdown count as far as the judges are concerned? We thought the Diggs had very good round oh, one and two. Oh, a solid right by Teofil Stevenson. Stevenson, a strong finish. We'll be back with the decision after this. You know, the business world moves fast. I found only one publication keeps pace with it every business day. Only this. The Wall Street Journal. Not weekly, not bi-weekly. Today's business news today. So you can use it today. Get all the business news you need when you need it. Get the Wall Street Journal. Delivered for six months for $53. Phone toll-free 800-554-9000. That's six months, 53. Way back between Tyrell Biggs and Teofio Stevenson. And now you got to figure this is going to be a close decision. I think very close, but I would think Biggs might have the edge. Let's find out. Roger Twyville.